squad. So I came across this adorable Powerpuff girl you saw in the thumbnail and I had to put her on some nails. But first, I'll explain some things that went on through this set. So I already started with the practice hand prepped and clear was laid and I went right in with the color. First and foremost, this glitter. It's so fully packed. OMG. This is another one like the last two that I used, which by the way, everything will be in my description box. It has that reflective appeal. Just too, too pretty. Now when I got to the cuticle bead, I sized it to ombre down over the glitter, but then it was too wet. And there are a couple more times where I had to make corrections. I hadn't been doing acrylic as consistently as I'd like because I had some extra work hours. So it was too wet and I was chasing it so I had to wipe some away and had to work it before it started setting. Then the camera storage got full and cut off guys. Ugh, the troubles, the troubles, the troubles. <laughs> But you get the idea, so you'll see how it turned out as I progress through the set. The ring finger will get the freehand nail, so it'll be a solid nude. Oh, and by the way, this is Keiko, guys. I forgot to introduce her, didn't I? Also, though you didn't see it, I prepped and laid clear before recording. Acrylics is something that takes much practice, so I was a bit out of tune. I hadn't done acrylic marble on my channel, though I have toyed with the idea of it before, so I decided to do one. And I've seen many ways to do marble with acrylic. And since this set will already take much doing the freehand, I just did what came to mind that I felt was the easiest for me. I just don't think there's a right or wrong, as long as the desired result is reached. After loading my brush with monomer, I randomly dip it lightly in different colors, then spread, swirl it. Oh, and in case you hadn't noticed, I switched to my old acrylic brush from school. Eventually, I only used the purple and pink because the translucent nude really wasn't showing up much and I really kind of wanted it to have more of a contrast, but it didn't. But I was still happy with how it was coming out. The one thing I will mention when it comes to marbling is to work a little wet so you'll have time to swirl it and also to keep it from getting too lumpy.
Then I added the glitter later so as to not get it mixed into the powders. Which reminds me, fine glitters easily get into your acrylic brush so you will need to clean it in between unless you plan out like a one time when to use it for the set and be done with the glitter. I knew that I didn't want to do the entire nail marble though in hindsight I think that would have looked nice too. By the time I got up to the cuticle I wanted to do a nude so it would tie in kind of with the nude on the ring finger so I started working it to get it as flush as I could. I picked up a considerable bead and you'll notice that I'm playing with it still trying to decide what I want to do. But girl, time was running out and it was starting to set. <laughs> so I just decided to do an uneven cut. And I'll let you watch the index finger because I want you to see how much of this glitter gets into the brush. Now, I don't know what it was with me and these wet beads when I did this set. <laughs> then, I just show a quick glimpse of the thumb because you really only see a small part of it, if any at all, in the reveal. So guys, I included some filing this time but couldn't offer it as ASMR because I was watching videos while doing these. <laughs> Despite the issue with the wet beads, I am very happy with the turnout of this set. I'm liking it and can't wait to get to the nail art. And if you like it, click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. There's more like this coming. Okay, so I actually have, well, had eight professional pedicure chairs, guys. You know, the professional kind that you go sit in at the nail salon. One of my motorcycle students came and got one of them, so I still have seven. At a point, I had fallen between jobs in my profession and thank goodness I was doing nails and teaching motorcycle classes, which I was able to pick up doing more at the time. So I thought to go full-fledged doing nails on my own, you know, having my own thing going. So I started going through Craigslist for equipment. I came across this ad for eight pedicure chairs and I contacted them. Turns out, it was a mid-sized Asian nail shop in a strip mall of a popular shopping area not far from me. So I arranged to go see the chairs, which was great because it was an opportunity to see them while they were running and working. 
They're not like the new ones, but remember the all white with the black cushion and they have like the light that changes color in the water. And of course the massagers in the seats. So I was excited. The asking price was $1,000 for the eight chairs. Guys, that's already a steal all in itself. Eight pedicure chairs? You know how much them things run, used or not. I didn't bother negotiating. And let me tell you what a blessing that brought me. Oh, and real quick. This is just me following along the outline that I pre-drew and then filling it in with the colors. So, I get there. All of them are up and running and working great. The wife was dead set on getting them out right away. And I'm talking the next day. In fact, she said the water lines to the chairs were being disconnected at closing of that business day. I made a couple of phone calls and guaranteed that I'd be there in the morning with a truck and movers. So I made the payment. They were happy. I was happy. And I showed up with the truck and help in the morning. Sure enough, the chairs were ready to go. Turns out they had new furniture coming the day after. <laughs> so everything was happening. And here comes the blessings. As the chairs were getting loaded into the truck, she was cleaning. Then she came running outside and said, you taking the chairs? You take these too. Guys, it was all the tech chairs for each pedicure station. And I ain't talking the cheap chairs either. I'm talking the heavy duty steel seats that have, you know, like the pump to lift up and lower the chair. Then a few minutes later, she ran out again. You need this too. I'm talking like that, guys, because my mother talked like that. <laughs> yeah, so she came running out and said, you need this too. It was all the nail lamps off the manicure tables and she put them in the truck. Then, guys, this kept going. She came out again. You take this too. It was seven or eight of those clear nail polish wall racks. I'm talking, you know, like the ones that hold like 60 to 70 polishes. Seven or eight of them, guys. Well, you know, as, as I continue to talk to them on and off in the movement of what was going on, I started figuring out they were actually getting rid of everything for the price they were asking for the pedicure chairs, which was already more than reasonable, right? While all this was going on, her and her husband kept asking me where my shop was going to be, and I explained I hadn't started looking for a location yet. Now, you're not going to believe what they told me. Put in the comments what you think they said. How do you think my Powerpuff girl turned out? Isn't she cute? This couple told me to let them know when I find a location and they would help me with the zoning and the husband would come connect the water lines for me. I was blown away. Did you guess that's what it was? Ultimately, I hadn't opened a nail shop because as unexpected things tend to happen in life, I was called back to my profession, which is my first love, and I continue to hold on to my thoughts for a nail shop as a backup. And don't mistake this to mean I don't have a passion for doing nails because there shouldn't be any doubt that I do. I'm sure it reflects on what I put into this channel, so you never know. There may come a time when I'll be once again saying, Hello, honey. What you like today? Pick you color. <laughs> Here's some satisfying top coat. Glossy on three nails and matte over the nail art. And in just about all of my videos, I do have to exclude something for sake of length and editing. So today I didn't include 
sibling placement, which you'll see in the reveal. What do you think of today's acrylic nail tutorial and story time? You can enjoy more by clicking this link and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Much love.